Okay. This is her sob. For those of you that <clears throat> are coming in late, it's a 99 Saab 93 Turbo in line four cylinder. Taking the um, <clears throat> in air intake tube off, taking the uh, upper radiator hose off, taking the air intake tube loose from the carburetor over there. All my bolts and stuff are right here. Makes for a nice little handy place to keep them all. <clears throat> that bolt right there is what I'm trying to get out to get her starter out. That's the last remaining thing to get the starter out. It goes through this way through the bell housing and it, the starter is uh, threaded itself. <clears throat> Once I get that out, of course, you can see what I've got to work around here. This will pull up out of the way. Now, I've got my um, breaker bar to go down in there, but probably still going to be kind of, I've only got a little bit of space down in there to actually get something in. Tight, but there's no other way to get to it. Anyway, that's my plight. That's what I was talking about earlier in the video. Okay, so we're over here at my neighbor's shop and I've warmed his lights up out here in his garage just for a few minutes because I was under the impression that this alternator on this car would be a whole lot easier to get to than it actually is. Alright, I've already shown you the starter that's way down in there on the back side of the motor that you can hardly reach. This is everything buttoned back up the way it's supposed to be. We got that all fastened up. The car does actually start now. Um, I actually, it was actually driven over here. Started to say I actually drove it, but I actually had my 18 year old daughter do it. And in the videos that you find on YouTube for this car, they're trying to say the alternator's right down in here and you've got to take the front wheel off and everything else. Well, I've got to figure out first off how to get this serpentine belt loose. Uh, I think. Okay, that's a, stand, a stable pulley. Uh, I think the idler pulley is the one you're seeing the top of right there for the belt. And you can see, looking down in there, we got all of maybe an inch, if that, to get tools in. The alternator. is right down there. See the fins? That's it. Back side of the motor right over top of where that drive shaft that I just replaced uh, last year about this time. That drive shaft is right there, right below it. So, this is going to be a fun little adventure. 
actually. That right there looks like where you put the. Uh, I'm having to hold the hood too because her hood struts are gone also. Yeah, that looks like the idler pulley right there. I'm gonna have to look at all this stuff up. <coughs> no, it's not. Well, I'm going to look some of this crap up real quick. I may just have to ask him if it's okay to jump on this tomorrow because I may have to get him to uh, take her car out of here. This is his daughter's car, or daughter-in-law's car, I forget what you said. Um... But I'm going to have to take that front wheel off. I almost guarantee it. Because that uh, drive shaft is in the way of getting to and getting out that alternator. The bad thing is, it's not that bad of a car overall. But God, what a pain in the neck to work on the stupid thing. Everything's on the back side of the motor, the starter, the alternator. You got like a half an inch, if that, to get the serpentine belt off and get it replaced. Still haven't figured out how to work those headlight wiper blades. And we still need to replace the pipe, the exhaust pipe under the middle of it, because it still sounds like a ricer. Of course it is a four cylinder so there's a reason for that and she hasn't taken it anywhere to clean it in months because it's been you, know, you see the German Shepherd making his mark on it but uh, it's been sitting waiting for me to get out there and fix it now I'm gonna leave the keys in it in case he needs to move it around We're going to run that seafoam can in the seat there and run that through it see if that helps clean up some of the stuff too. And she sat out there with it idling so long last night, she's about run it completely out of gas. So I'm going to have to come off with some regular, my jug of lawnmower gas, just so once I get it fixed, she can make it to the store to get gas in it. Anyway, that's what I'm up against. It's not gonna be a fun ride, but what can you do? Nobody else to fix this stupid thing. I'll talk to you more later. Thanks for watching.